Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. One common thing that I keep getting in emails and in comment section is how do we improve our coding skills? What, what project should we put in our resume to make it more highlighted? What is the real time small applications that we can develop while practicing JavaScript or any other JS framework? So here I am bringing you six projects that you can practice while learning JavaScript or React or Angular. These projects are meant for single developer, which means you can do it alone without any other team members. They are also mostly on the UI side, which means you can practice purely on the front end side. Let's take a look at those six projects. Also, if you have any more ideas, please do share them in the comment section. Before we start, I want to insist that practicing is the only best way to learn and improve any coding experience. The more you code, the more confident you will be, the more you can develop your logical skills, the more you will learn shortcuts in terms of writing better code. So keep practicing. That's the only way to improve and to make yourself a better dev. All right. So the first and important thing that I tell everyone is to work on form validations. Forms are integral part to any application and so is form validation, right? So start by writing simple form validations like the fields are required, etc. Do number checking, do phone number checking, do email check. And then slowly as you are confident, keep adding more complexity to the form. Try adding regular expression patterns. Try do some pattern matching. Try to understand the context of the data entered, etc. This will be your good starting point for you to get confidence and gain some hands on skills. The next thing that you should try is create a simple interactive image gallery. This is a very simple thing. Take a few bunch of array of images, start displaying them. When you click on the image, open up a model window or a pop up, which will show the enlarged image. If you're confident with it, extend it by adding more functionalities like cropping effect, zoom in, zoom out, download, etc. Yet another very innovative one to put it on your resume so that you can talk about it. You can explain them what you have done. And it's fairly something that is used in most applications. Now, this is something that I encourage people to try because this has a lot of variations in terms of what data can be entered. Create a simple app for conducting quizzes, right? So the questions can have different formats to answer like radio, checkbox, multiple options, etc. Now these are different input methods that user can provide. So add validations at the click of submit, check how many the, the user has got correct, maybe displayed in a graph, etc. Right. So another cool thing that you can try to build your confidence. Now this is the dead simple. If you are absolute beginner just starting out, start by doing a simple calculator, right? A lot of times you would think that, oh, it's just a dummy idea, but no, it's not. It has a lot of logical things that you can work with it, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, divide, percentage, etc. You would also learn how to work with keyboard inputs, right? Those, those are the things that you should focus when building this particular project. Now, if you're learning about integration with backend, try this weather forecast application. You have a lot of external APIs that are already available, which provides you with the weather forecast API and endpoints, which provide you data. You need to now build a UI where you can add multiple locations into the app and maybe color code them. Like for example, if it's sunny, show it a sun, yellow color. If it's rainy, maybe add some raindrop image, etc. So the idea is to integrate the external API into the front end application and then maybe keep adding complexity, more features, etc. Now, this is a lot of people say don't do this, but I still encourage which is to do a to do list app, right? Now, this is the most simplest one to start gaining confidence. Every project that we do as part of learning has to give you confidence, has to give you that a better feel that yes, I'm becoming a better dev and start by creating a simple to do app, add some action items, have a submit button, add, click on that should add the item. 
slowly then start adding features like categories, color code, done, incomplete, share via email, edit items, add deadlines, etc. etc. So there is a lot of possibilities you can do here just for your learning sake. So do not underestimate the power of a to-do list. Go ahead, start doing it to gain confidence. So those are the top projects that I would recommend you if you are starting out by learning a framework, JavaScript, Angular or React. Start by start with these projects. Do let me know if you have any questions or doubts. I'm here to help you. Do share if you have any more ideas that our community can pursue. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.